Today I am super excited to show you a really cool trick for your WordPress website using Elementor. We will be learning how to change the header on scroll, whether you want a completely new header to appear or if you prefer your header to transition after a specific section. I have got you covered. So let's dive right in. Then go to your website. Now it's time to log in your website. So after log in to your WordPress dashboard, once you are in, navigate to the page where you want to implement the header transition. Here's the two step like to edit the header. First, you can click here on the at the left hand side menu. Click on template and then click here on the theme builder. From here, go to your header, then click here on the edit. That's the method one to go to your header to like edit your header. And the next method is go to your website. And from here, you see this option added with Elementor, hover on it and then click here. So these are the two methods. So that's how you can do that. Now in your header, we have successfully launched the Elementor for the page we want to like add in. I have already created a header and design it with Elementor. And you can also design your header however you like using Elementor's drag and drop interface or like you're just using template. So now for creating the header, if you are unsure how to do this, no worries. I have already uploaded a detailed tutorial on how to design a header or create a navigation menu using Elementor. You can find the link to that tutorial in the description below. Once you have designed your header, come back here and we will move on to the next step. Okay, so first let me show you what I want to do in this tutorial. I want that when I scroll down, I do not want to show my header on this hero section like that. But when the hero section ends, I want that my header appears again, but not on hero section on all of the on my like entire site. So go to your Elementor, just click here, duplicate the section and name the first section like static header and then the second is like sticky header like as i have already and i have already these two sections so for that i just want to delete this section and go to your next sticky header and give it a top and bottom margin and also give it a the index like give any value but here you have to give it a like this sticky header class and the next step is to add a custom CSS and this CSS is in the description. So it depends on you. Just give it a, any negative value here. And after that in motion effects, after in advanced step, go to the motion effects and select from here sticky as a top. Do not forget to give it a this effects offset value. Adjust it according to you. Here you can also give it a value of 250. Click here on the update. To your website refresh the page and see completely fine you just have to give it a top negative value in custom css and then adjust the effects offset value according to that like if you want your header transition after a specific section or a certain number of pixels scroll you can adjust the scroll offset this allows you to control exactly when the header transition occurs Lastly, make sure to test your website across different devices to ensure that the header transition works smoothly and looks great on all screen sizes. And this header is for just for my like desktop and for tablet and mobile view, I have already created a tutorial for that like I give it a pop up. So this video link also given in the description. You can watch it on my YouTube channel. And there you have it. You have successfully learned how to change the header on scroll in WordPress using Elementor. Whether you want a new header to appear or a smooth transition after a specific section, Elementor gives you the flexibility to create stunning website design. If you found this tutorial helpful, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.